kaunti yanaitwa Cherusha awasalimie Abantu baitumbie mole kaunti yanaitwa Cherusha awasalimie Abantu baitumbie mole Your excellency today we are so happy here at Rigoma This is the market where you have come severely and indeed the barabara ambayo you have come to launch when you when we were with you you did it and uh, you came to nyangori you launched the water it went to keroka there was a return pipe which was to come down so that our people can enjoy that water has not yet and i know you are going to rise it from where it is your excellency finally your excellency I want to thank you. Huyu mtu ambaye anaitwa Shadra Kamose. Yes. hapa, one of the shops around there. That, this is where he, he was staying while he was in school and I was one of them. So what you have done, Lord, I want to thank you so much. This is grateful and may the Lord be with you and we have accepted the new one on the other side. We are going to work with you and work with you. May Lord bless you. Thank you so much. Asante sana mama. Hapa niko na waziri wangu Mheshimiwa Machogu mpigeni makofi. Hapo niko na chairman wetu wa Kenjen bwana Ugamba mpigeni makofi. Niko na mjumbe wetu wa zamani hapa bwana Kiangoi mpigeni makofi. Niko na mzee wetu Michieka Profesa mzee wetu mpigeni makofi tuko na mbunge Nyakundi Jafet Nyakundi ambaye ni treasurer wetu wa UDA National Treasurer mpigeni makofi hapa niko na deputy governor wetu wa zamani wa Kisi lakini sasa ni CAS wetu wa Foreign Affairs bwana Maangi mpigeni makofi niko na ndugu yetu Walter Nyambati ambaye alikuwa anatafuta kiti ya gavana si ndio lakini wakati alipika njiani sasa nimempatia kazi yeye ndio chairman ya mambo ya stima mpigeni makofi niko na mbunge wetu Joash Nyamoko mbunge wetu wa kutoka kule North Mugirango si namna hiyo hapa niko na bwana Echate Echate huyu kijana nimempatia kazi ya chairman pia na anafanya kazi nzuri pigeni makofi niko na ndugu yangu Zahir Chihanda ambaye yeye ni mbunge wa hapa Chache niko na seneta wetu wa Kisi bwana Onyonga mheshimiwa Onyanga mpigeni makofi niko na gavana wetu wa kwanza wa Kisi bwana Ongwae mpigeni makofi niko na mama county wetu wa kwanza wa Kisi Janet Ongera mpigeni makofi niko na Nyambega Mose alikuwa seneta wetu wa hapa amelala njiani mimi napanga mambo yake huyo nitampanga niko na problem na niko na ndugu yetu bwana Nyakiba eneo Nyakiba wa kutoka kule West Mugirango lakini alikuwa na wania kiti ya deputy governor mpigeni makofi hata huyo mambo yake iko sawa na Janet pia mambo yako si mbaya sana hata ongwae nitajaribu kupanga panga niko na mama wetu huyu Donya huyu Donya ni mama wetu sasa wa county wa kutoka kule Kisi. Si ndio? Na sisi wote ni jeshi moja. Si ndio? Ya kushughulika na wana maheshimu, mimi nawapenda. Hata ingawaje nilikuwa nimelemewa na wale jamaa, lakini yeye mlifanya mambo. Si ndio? Si mlifanya mambo. Mpaka wale wa jamaa wakashangaa. Mpaka mpaka saa hii hawajaamini. Kutipitisha ahadi yetu ya kwamba hiyo barabara tutajenga pia tutaipeleka mpaka ifike Birongo. Eh najua kuna kuna wanetoka hapa. Boss, mpaka 
Kwa hiyo ingine ipike wapi? Eh? Mwote mwamu? Pande kwa mbibi ya mbibi? Eh, tutafikisha hata na hapo mwote mwamu itafika. Sawa sawa? So hiyo kazi tutafanya pamoja na nini? Na siyo hii barabara peke yake. Tuko na barabara zingine nyingi ambazo zilikwama. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie tunafanya kazi na hawa wabunge wetu. Nimesimamisha mambo mengine mengi. Nilipatia tu nafasi kidogo nipange ili kuhakikisha kwamba hizo barabara zote ambazo tayari tulikuwa na makontrakta wengine wamekwama wakaondoka. Hata ile nilikuja kuendesha pale kamera ile inaenda mpaka huko Keungu. Hiyo barabara pia ilikwama. Lakini mimi nataka ni wakikishie hizo barabara zote ni za kuamua tutajenga tukamilishe kwa manufaa ya wananchi wa hapa na Mbeya na Kisii. Tunaelewana jameni? Vile vile mimi nataka ni wakikishie leo tumeanzisha mambo ya maji pale Gegati. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie tumekubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya maji ni mambo ya muhimu sana. Bado wananchi wengi wanaangaika mahali ya kutoa maji ya matumizi nyumbani, maji ya mifugo na hata ya irrigation. Ndio tumekubaliana ile dam ambayo inaitwa Bunyuru hapa. Hiyo dam tutaweka karibu billion 15 na investors tujenge ndio mupate maji na kisii ipate maji. Dam ile ya hapa Magwagwa hapa juu. Hata hiyo dam tumekubaliana tunapanga na wawekezaji nitarudi hapa kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu tutakuwa na mwelekezaji tutakuja kuanzisha hiyo dam ndio mupate maji manyumbani kwenu kila mama wetu wawake kubeba maji kutoka mito kwa kichwa ama kwa mgongo tunaelewana jamani vile vile hapa mko na technical training college si ndio hapa mwoni hapa hiyo technical training college tutawaletea computers ni ya moja na hizo computers ni ya moja tunataka vijana wa hapa wajisomeshe masomo ya computer wale wako pale na wale wako nje na katika hiyo mpango tunataka kupanga ile inaitwa digital jobs tukileta hizo computers hapa ndani ya mwaka mmoja mimi nataka nikuje nipate vijana elfu moja wanafanya kazi ile inaitwa digital jobs na wanapata pesa ya dola ndio kuhakikisha ya kwamba vijana wetu wanapata ajira. Mimi mnanielewa? Jambo la tatu. Hapa Nyamira tumefanya kazi na gavana wenu na wabunge wenu na viongozi wenu. Tumekubaliana wametupatia ekari hamsini tumetangaza hiyo kandarasi inafunga tarehe 30 mwaka huu tunatafuta investors ambao watakuja kutujengea manyumba hapa Nyamira tumeanza tumesema phase 1 tunataka kujenga nyumba elfu kumi hapa Nyamira katika town mbalimbali na kujenga hizo nyumba ni kwa sababu hatutaki muendelee kukatakata mashamba yenu tunataka watu wengine waishi katika township ndio ile mashamba mko naye tutumie kuzalisha chakula mimi mnaelewa na hiyo nyumba ambayo tunajenga pale township tutawapatia pesa ya kununua